In this episode, we're going to look at the level difficulty and showing the, the high score, resetting the high score. So let's go. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Extronical. Today we're going to look at part nine of the Space Invaders project. We're going to change it a little bit this time. We're going to actually um, not go into the nitty gritty of every line of code as we've done in the past. We're going to move things on, go a little bit quicker. Now you should be getting a bit more used to some games programming. So we're going to cover a few things, which is going to be lives, uh, track screen and, and difficulty settings. And um, just covering in a very basic fashion and we'll supply the source code um, and you can look through that as well. If you want the source code, if you go to extronical.com, I'll bring it up on screen now, you'll see that uh, under projects, I mean, I've already got it on screen here, but if you want to find part nine, go to project, space invaders, and part 8 to 15, and part nine, lives, chat and difficulty. So looking at the changes in this release, um, you can now dive in if the space invaders bomb hits you, um, but at the moment, not by any other means. So if the space invaders come too low and they collide with you, then you're not going to die. They're just going to carry on going lower and lower. Um, we've also decremented the lives. If you do get hit by one of the bombs, and when it's zero, it actually ends the game. We've added in a track screen, which I'll just bring up now. So it just says simply play space invaders, hit fire to start. Um, we've got a congratulations screen. If you beat the high score, um, we can reset the high score if you wish to do so. And we've also done the that level of difficulty which is um, obviously moving them faster as they are less on the screen and uh, also when you clear a level they actually start a little bit lower down. So we'll start off talking about difficulty and the first bit is the speed of them. So as you shoot them they get a tiny bit faster until they get to the last two or three when they actually get quite a lot faster. In the original game um, that was actually just a byproduct. It wasn't actually an actual game mechanic. It was a byproduct of the fact that the, the technology was quite um, primitive by today's standard and advanced by their standard. Um, but when it was displaying all the Space Invaders on screen, um, it took it quite a while to get them on screen. And as you killed them, the processor had less work to do. It had less invaders to move and render and um, look for collisions, etc. Um, so it could actually get round to printing and plotting those space invaders a lot quicker. So the actual game naturally sped up, uh, which proves a really good mechanic. And um, because we've got quite a fast processor, that's actually not difficult. It's not difficult, but it's not as simple as just letting the speed go faster and faster. So we have a bit of code um, in this, actually. Every time we shoot down an alien, so if we go to... Um, I think it's about line 582, there we go, um, and player uh, speed, um, the player alien speed, sorry, uh, depends on how many aliens you've got left, so there's a little bit of simple calculation done, but that only, when I actually did this, so I made it look a bit faster every time you killed an alien, but when you got last time to last two or three, it didn't seem to replicate the original arcade very well, so I added a couple, some extra lines here, you can see, um, if it's basically two aliens left um then it actually increases the speed quite a bit faster and if there's only one alien left it increases it a lot faster and that seems to work uh, quite well obviously you can play with the numbers yourself to see what you feel works best um the other level of difficulty is the fact that when you complete a level the space invaders will move down on the next level a certain amount we have um a constant here we just go up to the top of the uh code um, it says level to reset to start height um, and the amount to drop by. These two set your actual Y start position per level. Uh, the only thing is you don't want it to keep on getting lower and lower, otherwise then it would start right on top of the player and then even lower. So um, there's a little calculation at eight, line 862, we just scroll to that. It's quite complex and I'm not going to go through it now. If you go to extronica.com and look at the part nine of the Space Invaders, um, I go into it in quite some detail, include a table, I'll just bring that up now. So there we go. And I talk about it quite a lot in some detail and I give you a little table showing that basically after level four, 
Space Invaders will reset back. So on level 5, they reset back to the top, top of the screen. And basically the game kind of repeats from there. Uh, high score can be reset. You just need to press um, the left and right buttons simultaneously while you're on the attract screen. Obviously not in the real game. So when you're on track screen and you press them two together, it will reset. So I'll just show you that now. And press and hold them both together. And there you go, it resets. And that's about it. Um, we'll just have a quick game, show you the action. Okay, so we'll just see how bad I can play. In fact, this is the third take I did of this. Because I kept dying early on. Because what I want to show is, as I play, I'll try and concentrate as I'm playing and talking. Uh, what I want to show is um, clearing all the levels. So we can see that they actually start a bit lower down. So look at where they are now. Um, they started right at the top along the line with the score and the number of lives. And we're about to clear. And we also want to see the Space Invaders speeding up as they go. And we've got a high score of, high score of zero at the moment. So I want to see if oh, nearly, um, I didn't have me then, if the um, if that resets. So, okay, we've got this intermediate bit as well, which I think we might have had before. I can't remember. I lost another life really quick. And we've just got these two to go. You can see they have marginally gone a bit faster. And the last one should go significantly faster. Let's get that. Yes. And yes, quite fast. So we're waiting for it to come around this side. And right. So we're looking for the Space Invaders being a little bit lower down. Yes, they are. And on the level after this, which I don't play, they will be even lower down as well. So the next thing I want to dive. Yeah, there we go. And we get the high score and the congratulations at the end. So that's it now for this episode. So nice and quick, we'll do um, episode 10 in a similar fashion. Uh, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.